The prosecutor's office was on the receiving end for what ICC suspect Joshua Sang's defense team says is a manifestation of sloppy investigations and accounts from witnesses who are not credible. The prosecution in presenting this case in the first instance acknowledges that they do not believe their witnesses but still have the cheek to come and ask your honors to believe the witnesses they do not believe in themselves. We submit that the prosecution's case is built around statements obtained from career witnesses, i.e. people who have spoken to every commission, every court investigating post-election violence in Kenya. The witnesses that they have sought to have to rely on are not believable. It is clear to us why the prosecution has not called live witnesses. Katwa pointed out to the court that the credibility of a certain prosecution witness was particularly questionable. This is a self-confessed criminal. As I get the quote, which I will read shortly, in which he acknowledges that I am a thief, and those are, I'm using his own words, that I am a thief. I, I looted in the year 1992, 1997, and I'm still present, and that I am a drunkard. The defense team claims that based on contradicting witness accounts, the prosecutor had failed to prove weighty matters that he relied on to build his case. These meetings were never held. That the supplier of the guns, one Mr. Frederick Capondi, was not available to supply the guns. And the subject of the meetings and the subject of the guns is an entire fiction in itself, fabricated by the prosecution witnesses. The prosecutor also alleged that KSFM presenter Joshua Sang called to action attackers in a coded language, another piece of evidence that the defense team found fault with. There is no formulation of that alleged coded language. Secondly, there is no formulation of the solution to that coded language if there was a code which was to be used by a selected set of people for purposes of communicating. However, while making their presentation, Judge Hans Peter Cowell raised concerns that the language the defense was using was becoming inappropriate. The language which you are using is close to, um, well, um, a misconduct or an abuse of, of uh, prosecutorial uh, powers. I do want to clarify that I have said the prosecution evidence is contrived. Not necessarily that the prosecution themselves are responsible for it. I will be listening with great attention to the, to the, to the continuation of um, uh, your uh, pleadings. Sylvia Chabit, Citizen Live at Night.